When I was abroad once, and me and my sister were so like, can it come like, you know, how we have it back home, like just nice, boneless, not, not with a face? And it came and it was like, <laughs> straight out of the sea. Like, face, just awful, so couldn't eat it. Not really, no. And that is because my father, the great man himself, is still doing all the baking. Um, he's working hard back there now. I'm, you know, fully focused on sort of branching out. I need to get the new shops, running the show front of house. So, not really. I can throw some sausage rolls in the oven, if need be, on the weekend when we get busy. Oh, the, it was probably the best experience of my life, if I'm being honest. It was a fantastic experience. I learned so much. Um, people were like, would you do it again? Because it seems really stressful. And I'm like, yeah, we'll do it again. I would do it again this year because I, I enjoyed it so much. I sort of thrive off pressure and them sort of environments. So I was, I was loving it. I loved the experience. He's like what you see on the telly. So when you see him sort of straight faced and blunt to the point. That's how he still is now with me on the phone, you know, if I'm talking to him or if I've met him, it, it's exactly the same. So he's, he's really real to himself, um, but he's very straight to the point. Yeah, so the full part task, I really enjoyed it. Felt, felt like I found myself, I was PMing it in an environment that I loved. Um, yeah, we had to pitch to 300 people and industry experts, like super fans of roller coasters, and they loved it. They loved my ride, my team and me's ride, I mean. I had a great team, and yeah, I really loved that, that task. It was great. Huh. You know, brush the shoulder. <laughs> Fantastic, isn't it? A Hall of Fame, Apprentice Hall of Fame. So I won nine out of ten tasks, uh, never been done before. It feels great, it feels like even more of an achievement. Like, one, uh, you know, I proved myself, that's what I wanted to do, prove to Lord Sugar, Karen and Claude that I'm deserving and, you know, I really wanted it. So I'm glad the passion came through and just kept winning. Just kept winning. Signature bake at Doe would be a couple of things really that the sort of community of Herne Hill it, it come come to us for. So that's the multi seed loaf. Um, we've obviously the luxury sausage roll is like famous now, which is great. Um, so that's all Dad's own recipes. So it's really nice that yeah, they're signature things, true to the brand, you know, and that's that's what we're known for. So it's great, wholesome, good food at a great price. Yeah, yeah, so they go sort of hand in hand really. Their signatures, they're really popular. A lot of the vegan products are really popular actually at the minute. They all sort of fly off the shelves as well. Um, and then you've got your traditionals. So we're quite traditional here. Yes, we do our quirky products as well, but we've got the brownies, they always go. Cherry and almond slice always goes. So yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of product range. Um, yeah, they're just a few faves. So we've got some exciting plans for expansion actually. Um, you're gonna have to wait and see on them at the minute, but yeah, there are some plans in place. So we'll be opening up some new shops soon. Very excited. Yeah, so big names, yeah. I mean, it's great. It's, uh, can't not be great having Anthony Joshua come and see. He sat exactly here, you know, this is his shrine. This is his spot. Um, yeah, it was fab when he, he came in and yeah, Love the beef patty, vegan energy balls, luxury vegan roll, smoothie. God, he can eat. But um, he was like, more, more. Yeah, it was great having, having some celebs down. I need to get some more, so um, if anyone wants to come down to Doe Bakehouse, <laughs> come, come and visit me. But yeah, it's great having like, that sort of traction coming through the shop. Go and see Dad. He's got some great tips. <laughs> um, top tips. You, you've got to be passionate to the trade, my God. So I suppose the top tip would be, be prepared for the hard graft. That man has been working since, so we're now at half 12 on a Friday, started at three, went and moved his car so we could stay and do the vegan energy balls for us. Like, yeah, it's a hard graft. 
you've got to be passionate about it and just be prepared to sort of sweat. <laughs> So my background is, uh, my dad's Italian, so I'm going to stick with Italy. Um, yeah, we sort of go there as much as we can. The food is incredible. If you haven't been to Italy, what, what have you been doing? Yeah, so it's close to my heart and rings true that the food is amazing. Oh, this is a hard one, because I'm not, I haven't been to any great like restaurants. But. Do you know where I've been recently? The Ivy, like twice, and this food's fantastic. Went to one in Wimbledon, went to one last night. So, and it's always like mouth and It's not enough, like it's so good. So I'm gonna go with the Ivy for now. The Ivy. My most memorable dish, so one that always sticks true, is my nan's, my dad's mum's pasta. Fan oh, we, we just can't, me and my sister can't replicate it. No one can. It's like some secret, isn't it? Like with these Italian nonnas, like she can do it and no one else can. So yeah, that, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Worst meal for me would be, so I really like fish. I really like eating fish, but I don't like fish with a face. Is that weird? Like, so when I was abroad once and me and my sister were so like, can it come like, you know, how we have it back home, like just nice, boneless, not, not with a face? And it came and it was like, <clears throat> straight out of the sea. Like, face, just awful, so couldn't eat it. So that's me. People think that's quite fussy, but I just can't have the eyeball, can't. So that was my worst. Where was I? Probably, I think I was Lanzarote or somewhere. Just awful. <laughs> I'm a porn star girl, so I like a good um, porn star martini. Does the job. Goes too quick, but yeah, that's my favourite. <laughs>